Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Um, this is day two on the service change from a overhead or underground upgrade from a 200 to 400 amp. This is the gear that we're putting on today. Two 200 amp parallel breakers to a bypass lever. Box is 30 inches wide as a electrical range. This is the one coming off. Excel just left. This is dead. We both double checked it. Uh, this is solar. Make sure you disconnect your solar photovoltaic. Over here is two disconnects as well. And then in here is also your inverter disconnects. So now that that's done, we took off that panel yesterday. If you saw, this is a third part of this video of 2019 for the upgrade. This will cover, put a cap, cocked it good overnight, put some brackets to help hold this beast up when it's heavy. And then with those other two uh, ACs that went in this panel are now disconnected to go in the downstairs panel. Those guys came in up there. That's how that turned out. 200 amp feed, two watt. Put some bond bushings. Did I need to? No. I just like to when I'm dealing with, with this rigid flex. I had to stretch strap this. I was hoping for a mini. I had to rip it off, but once I fed it in, I had to do a reverse back and forth on the coupling to get it to go back in. That one I did not. I like how I did this here, and I could just slip strut under there if I was in trouble. This is my TC cable number two. He wanted all copper. That's why I didn't do PVC. And that's going to be a 100 amp panel and my 200 amp panel, both main load. This, if you remember from yesterday, are all those breakers from upstairs. Carflex came down, made sure I didn't have more than six to nine current carrying conductors in my conduits. And I did not use Roma because I used THWN. And then I taped around those panels. Uh, upstairs real quick. We put some paint on it. Uh, and then she's going to paint it, primed it. And now we're going to paint it again. And this is that cover. That's all that was really left of that huge mistake. Hold on one second. On the back, labeled my circuitry. In here, label the conductors coming from downstairs. Labeled my wires with sticker tape and my conduit raceway. And there's only 14 circuits in there, so I don't think the inspector's gonna give me a hard time about a 12 by 12 by four inch. So that turned out really nice. That was the back feed through the panel. Um, so yeah, I'll show you when I get this other one mounted either today or tomorrow. I only got a couple hours of sunlight because I got here at 1230 to disconnect. So yeah, thanks guys.